Welcome to Nairobi for those of you who are not from here. Um, <clears throat> welcome for uh, attending this uh, wonderful conference. Uh, thank you to our partners from SPIDER. Um, this is an effort and a, a conference and also just a, a, a program worth having because um, we struggle with this notion of social innovation. We've been struggling with this notion of social innovation for years. Um, since I've been in Kenya for over the last four years, I've seen the pendulum um, sort of swing from all the way of uh, social innovation is what we need to do towards what we are today, where it's all for profit. Um, <clears throat> so I think having efforts like this, you know, swinging it back into the middle, which I personally believe is going to be very important, doing things that are commercially viable and sustainable, but at the same time also uh, socially impactful, um, I think is going to be really crucial. Um, <clears throat> the IHUB, as uh, I have only been with the IHUB for a few months, but my main goal for the IHUB was to set our new strategy uh, to make it more relevant, not just for Kenya, but also for the entire Sub-Saharan and ideally African region. Um, our strategy now has been to really define an environment where entrepreneurs <coughs> can thrive. Um, and not just entrepreneurs, but also individuals who are striving towards becoming entrepreneurs. And why is this important? It's very simple. You just look at the numbers. Um, the uh, Africa in general and also Kenya has some of the youngest population in the world, or the youngest population in the world. Um, the birth rates are not such that we can see sort of the trend in terms of moving more young people into the economy subsiding. Um, what we will see is that in about 10 to 20 years from now, we will have a significant number of young employees. Given the size of the market, given the type of the market, it is very hard to perceive that we will have a typical um, enterprise environment as we have found it in many different parts of the world, such as India or China. So we will have to find a different way. Entrepreneurship is, uh, I think, one of the key things. It's not going to solve all the problems, but it's going to be an essential part I don't think we are ready here, both from a policy perspective as well as from a, from an environmental perspective, um, to have the right kind of place, the right kind of mechanisms for entrepreneurs to thrive. Um, the key thing to understand and why this is a significant social issue is that in the whole world, and you know, and one of my many things that I do, I teach at MIT Sloan, which is a business school that has done some of the most fundamental work around entrepreneurship for the United States and for Europe. There's very little known about what makes a successful entrepreneur in developing countries, in emerging countries. So yes, we can give our startups that incubate with us or that incubate here in Kenya a book called The Lean Startup, but we are making an assumption that whatever works in the United States will work here as well, which I, having lived in many places for many years, completely disagree with. This is a different market. There, there are different needs. There are different things to be addressed. And we, as the IHUB, will help to create what I think of as an extension service for entrepreneurs. In the same way as the agricultural revolution in the United States began in the early 20th century by creating extension services that brought scientific thinking into how to improve agriculture. I think we need to do exactly the same thing here for entrepreneurs. And what I envision the I have to become is that extension service where we actually think deeply about how to support entrepreneurs build programs like this that allow people to engage, not just within Kenya, but across the borders of Africa. Um, and at the same time, find the right investment instruments that will allow us to support these entrepreneurs to get started. Um, so my vision for the IHUB is to become, or it is already an internationally globally recognized organization, um, but for me to get to the next level is also in partnership with the government to understand what are the right policies 
that will allow us to create environments that are not like what we see in other parts of the world, but that are generic to the context that we have in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, so that's just a little bit about the, uh, the IHUB. Now, uh, let me introduce our um, main speaker, Victor Cialo. Uh, I, I am very fortunate to have worked with Victor, to be friends with Victor for now. It must have, no, it's actually, uh, in fact, it's exactly four years because um, you know, at about this time, four years ago, I landed in Kenya for the first time, and Victor was probably the first person I have met here, like in, in Poland. Like, I have not met anyone before I met with uh, Victor. He was, um, <clears throat> and uh, over time, because uh, as you will maybe notice, but you know, Victor is not, he's a very modest guy. He doesn't talk much about what he has done. But over time, you learn that there is not a single thing in Kenya that has sort of brought Kenya to where it is today from an ICT perspective, but Victor hasn't been involved in at a very substantial level, starting from overseeing the project that brought fiber optics cables to the Eastern African seaboard, where he was the project manager for that. Starting Kenneth, that after fiber landed, uh, had the mission and still has the mission to connect all the schools and all the universities with fiber optic cable. Um, being the deputy CEO, this is where I mentioned for the Kenya, um, ICT board, which was there to support policy and to support um, the growth of the ICT sector, um, and then also taking over as the CEO of the ICT authority, um, which is continuing to set the pace for, for Kenya's development in ICT, and now being the permanent uh, secretary um, for the ICT ministry, supporting the you know supporting CS uh, John Moshero. So. Uh, as you can, from this brief introduction, tell uh, you are you, you're in the company of somebody without whom it's fair to say Kenya wouldn't be the place it is, and that I think is something you know from everyone to actually to aspire to to make a country something that it wouldn't be, and for the better. For this man, you could go the other way as well, but in this case, I can assure you. So it's a really honor and pleasure. It's been a while that we met, um, you know, we've worked together in the past. In fact, I should also mention, he was also instrumental to bring IBM's research lab <laughs> into, into Africa, uh, which is what my, my past was. So Victor, it's a pleasure to see you again.